Okay, uh, this is a quick overview of the week six lab. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through what you have to do uh, in regards of the main requirements. So the first thing is that uh, you will find some guidelines in the course in the Excel project uh, content item under week six where you need to download a CSV file. The CSV file is called sales data. Uh, once you download the file to your computer, then you need to open it up in Excel. So that is the import process. Um, that's one of the requirements. So once you have the import process in place, uh, you will notice that you have some data just like what you see uh, in this screen. Now next, you need to format the data. Um, so the data may look something like uh, this. Uh, this is where you have some creativity uh, for, for you to just explore and do and make it look as you think is more uh, user friendly for anybody who is looking at the data. Now uh, I suggest you also do some um, calculations uh, like discount amount, net revenue, because this will help you out to do the analysis. So what you need to look into here is what kind of data you have and what kind of analysis you want to do. So for example, you can do an analysis just on the type of uh, the category names they have here. So for example, you may do an analysis only on the dairy products, or you want to do another about meat, or maybe you want to compare these two and see which one has the most sales. So you just need to determine how you want to use the data and then work around that with the analysis tools. Another option here is to see you know which one is the biggest countries and which one is the least uh, as well as the um, maybe the salespeople you know which one is the ones giving you more money and uh, what you will suggest to do uh, they're also by date so you can see what happens uh, you know during to the 2005 year compared to 2006 you know which one had better um, better revenue uh, by the end of the year so you have uh, different options as to what you could analyze. The only requirement it is that it has to be three different uh, different analyses. So I'm gonna in this example just walk you through a few of them. Now this is an analysis a student created for sales by country. So he summarized by country and found the gross revenue, and then uh, that's the analysis he did. Uh, he used. Uh, a sort feature plus a sub subtotal feature as well so uh, that's one of the functions so right there is one of the analysis in addition he created a gross revenue by country uh, analysis and he created a chart uh, he also created a sales data analysis by salesperson as you can see here so there is uh, already three different analysis you are only required to do three but I highly suggest to include more if possible. Uh, here we have a chart about the salespersons. So he created salespersons as well as revenue by country. And he didn't stop there. He, uh, he created a quarterly sales summary. So we could do, uh, we could see the names uh, caused by based on quarters. And he created a nice chart using those uh, quarters. Uh, finally, he created another uh, showing all the salesperson, the rent revenue, and and different charts by country as well. And he he even used the pivot table in this case. My point is, I'm giving you different type of applications or functions you can apply: pivot tables, um, subtotals, charts, as well as the filters. Uh, and you can see uh, many types of uh, different functions you can apply so once you have that you took care of the analysis again you only need to do three of them the next part of the assignment is to provide a conclusion that's a report so what you do is what you take the charts or the Excel information you got grab and you do an analysis of that chart so you're going to scroll down really quick and then you do a recommendation of it. The same happens with the next one. You create, you have a chart that is the one you need to do the recommendation as well as the analysis. 
So make sure you do something, including all your information. In this case, this student actually used multiple charts just to talk about one of the performance sales uh, t staff uh, conclusion he wanted to use. And he added more. The requirements, again, are only three analyses and obviously three conclusions. So all you have to do is grab the information you have here, make an analysis of that, you know, determining what you're looking at, what you understood of the information, and then provide a conclusion, a recommendation of what you think the company should do. So for example, uh, if you are examining the sales summary by quarter, you may suggest uh, that maybe the, the first quarter was lower because of the season and you may recommend to change the products in that time, that kind of uh, recommendations. Be creative. Just make sure you use the data to make recommendations. Okay, hopefully uh, this uh, kind of uh, summarizes what you need to do for the week six lab.